what is up guys today we have some bfb coliseum and so hopefully we will face some decent opponents um i hope there's nothing wrong with the audio because i've been having so much trouble with my audio recently so if it's a bit quiet i am sorry just honestly just turn your volume up on your thing and hopefully it'll be okay so our phone our first opponent has more than 2,000 gameplays, only 61% record, but they do have a top 100 badge. So right, we're going with the we're going with the wizard, the farm, and the chipper because that is a I really like this strategy. It's really fun to play with, and we got the sniper. Sniper isn't going to be much use because the main weaknesses um, to this strat. Well, there aren't that many weaknesses, but like uh, you have to get up a chipper for pinks, or you can just get up the lightning bolt. I prefer to get a chipper up. Uh, regen whites. You have to get a chipper up and a lightning bolt. Uh, well, I think I think that's enough. It's, maybe it won't be, but in, in the cases I've um, played people, uh, that is enough to defend region whites because region whites can be a huge problem with this strat sometimes. All right, so let's put the farmer here. Right, okay, and get this up first. Put the sp oh, I put the I put the spikes down in the wrong place there. That was not intentional. Right, so let's get the wizard down. That's not even a wizard. I can't even tap stuff. This is bad. Uh, okay, and then let's send them some stuff because we haven't been sending them some stuff. And they have the Buccaneer. So hopefully they're not going Buccaneer Boomer Farm. That would be very annoying. But I hopefully they're not going with that horrible strat. I really do not like playing people that use that strat. But okay, so he's not even bothering to upgrade his Buccaneer to Grape Shop. I should have pressured him a bit more, I think. Uh, so that was my fault. We're going to get another farm out here. And then we'll have to... We'll get the more bananas. If he sends me pinks, I'll just spike it. And then get up the chipper and I'll be fine against that. Uh, and then I will send him a few pinks just to... Oh, he's going to do them straight away. So let's spike these pinks and then save for the chipper. We're sending him a few just to make him upgrade to that. And yep, let's get up the chipper, uh, the chipper now. The chipper is so good against these pinks. You can see it stalls them and pops them completely. We only will leak a few lives here because I haven't upgraded my wizard very much. I mean, if he keeps on sending, I will have to upgrade to Lightning Bolt. Because uh, this chipper spot isn't the best. I mean, this map is not the best map for this strat, I don't think. Like, the best maps are like, of course, Dreadbloom Cave is really good for it. And yeah, we're being continuously drained of lives. So you know what? I'm just going to go for the Lightning Bolt. And he is greeding a lot over there. He has the opportunity to greed with this strat. Um... Which is very, 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 very bad for us. But I suppose I would have had to get the lightning bolt up already for blacks. So that's fine. You can see he's going to be quite up in farms. You'll see he's going to... Yeah, he's, he's 1,000 ahead of me, basically. And we pretty much have a similar defense. So I'm going to send him a few pinks to get him chasing. Uh, and to get rid of those spikes. And then I will send some... Oh, he's got wizard. So he hasn't got buccaneer. Interesting. So I'm just going to force him... I'm going to force him to get that lightning bolt upgrade because no doubtedly that is what he's saving for. So hopefully we get him to get the lightning bolt upgrade. Otherwise, he's going to leak quite a few. How does this um, How does this Battles TV thing have two likes already and only one watching? I guess someone started watching it and then stopped. That's pretty interesting. Okay, then. We're going to send a couple of regen. No, we're not. We're going to... He's farming. I'm just going to carry on farming for now. And he's not sending me any region whites whatsoever. So that's pretty nice. Uh, because otherwise we'd have to get up maybe another chipper to defend. Because they can be a serious problem if they keep on regrowing. If Because remember, a, a white goes into two pinks. And then those two pinks, if they regrow, can regrow into two whites. So then you've got two whites instead of one. Then it just keeps on happening if you can't pop them. And that is exactly what the lightning does. The, white, the lightning is awful sometimes. So I'm going to send... A few regen leads against him uh, just to see because that wizard does not have the range over there and the lightning will pop the regen leads and then they'll regrow back into leads so we'll see if it does any damage it's not doing any damage he gets up another lightning bolt wizard which is exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna get up another one of these get get that up to camera detection and uh, carry on farming so I'm surprised he hasn't got the boomerang to be honest I thought he'd be with the um, have the boomerang with him but apparently not so let's upgrade that. So we've got five plantations. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And he's rushing us with um he's rushing us with some rainbows. So yeah, we're no doubt oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. No, no. <laughs> I can't believe it. That was a that was a huge rush. Did he sell did he sell farms to do that? I couldn't see. 
If he had sold farms to do that, oh, that is so bad. That, I really underestimate, I always underestimate uh, just basic rainbow rushes. They can actually be a massive issue uh, because they, they, there's just a massive quantity of blooms. I was trying to get the whirlwind, um, but yeah, that was bad micro. I probably should have gone for phoenix instead. Um, or I just should have put more towers down. I could have done so many things that I just didn't do. Yin Yang, please say you skip it. Yeah, he does skip it. And it's going to be Hot Tub. Um, fine, let's just do the strat on here. It's not the best, probably. Hot Tub is like a medium short map, in my opinion. Like, it is pretty short, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is short. Yeah, it is. Um, so let's put our farmer down wherever. Um... Oh, by the way, um, Shaft, if you're watching this, upload some more PUBG. It was, if, if that's how you say it, or is it PUBG? I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, pretty sure it's PUBG. But anyway, you should, you should upload more. It was really, really, it was, it was pretty entertaining. I liked it. Anyway, so we uh, should we put, should we start with the darts instead of the wizard? No, I'm gonna stick with the stick with the wizard, and I'm just gonna put a wizard down instead of the darts. So let's put the wizard down here. It's probably a good spot for it, I guess. And we'll send him a few uh, a few blues just to force him to... Oh, he's gone with the wizard as well. But I doubt he has the chipper. I can guarantee that he has the ninja. If he doesn't have the ninja, then I do not know what he's doing. Because the ninja, the wizard, and the farmer is literally the noob strategy. It's the go-to strategy uh, for noobs. And it's also quite a decent strategy, as Jaja Josh pointed out in one of his videos. It is actually a decent strategy if you know how to use it. Uh, but of course, I doubt our opponent knows how to use it. So, did we upgrade this to Intense? Yes, we do. We did upgrade it to that. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to boost him a few pinks. Because he, oh, he just upgraded to Plantation. He's going to have zero money to play around with. So, he's going to struggle against this. It's going to get rid of all of his spikes, at least. And he's sending me some. So, I'm going to put one set of spikes down. Get the chipper. And we'll be fine against those. We'll keep on sending these pinks. I don't know why I stopped there. Because he probably does not have much money. And we are we're leaking quite a lot. Oh, it's set to last. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, it's going to be better now. I was wondering why we were failing miserably against them. But it was because our chipper was set to last instead of strong. So I probably damaged myself 30 lives there just by the targeting. It shows you how important targeting of towers is sometimes. Like on offside, if you're going dark farm ace and they send you blues um, with pinks... If you if you set your you set your darts to last, and then at the uh, when they finish rushing you, you set it to we're gonna have to upgrade to lightning. Then you set it to first, and then it cleans up the balloons that could have leaked through. It's quite it's quite a good way of dealing with that. Um, round seven we only we don't even have two plantations yet. He's been pretty aggressive, but with our defense we will be fine. Let's send him a couple. Let's send him two sets of blacks to see what he does. So I do want to get my farm up this round. So yeah, let's send him a couple more. We'll have the money to. Yeah, we'll have the money to, definitely. And, yep, two plantations. I'll definitely send him... Oh, He's gone with a, a quad dart heli pilot. So, scrap that. I'm not sending region whites. He'll be fine against those. Especially with the heli pilot, with the quad darts. Because each one does... I think it's two pierce. So, that's like eight pierce per shot. And it does fire pretty quickly. So, that's a decent defense right there. Um, let's get the more bananas on that. And he's not rushing us with anything, which is nice. The, the thing with, with this strategy is I find that you can farm pretty heavily with this strat. Not greed, but just farm heavily. Uh, maybe that's just me. Um, because normally I'm pretty bad. Like, with Dark Farm Ace, I will only have, uh, like, two, three or four plantations. But I find my... By round 13. But with this strat, I, I find myself with, like, five plantations. As we saw last game, by round 13. Which is pretty good. So he's... Oh, he's sending us groups. So let's just upgrade that to that. And we'll be fine against that. So you see it's round 11. I'm about to get my fourth plantation up. With with Dark Farm, you have to get up a jug for lead. And with this, it's pretty cheap. Uh, popping power for leads especially. So yep, let's get up our next farm. If this guy all out rushes me, I need to be ready with some spiker pulse set to last. Because that will, that will be pretty good, guys. So is he going to all out rush us? That is the question, guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rush him. I'm going to sell this farm. I'm going to uh, rush him with some of those. One set of those. And a pink's over the top. And he is going to go down to this. If he doesn't do anything, the regens are going to regen too much. And he is going down. He he had Blade Maelstrom. And he did not defend? That That's bad. I mean, my micro last game was a pooling. 
But that was even worse. He had the Maelstrom. He could have just sold a farm. Boom, Maelstrom, done. I should have sent some camos behind it. That would have been an even better rush. Because I actually, I sacrificed a 1-0 farm for that rush. Not much, granted. But, you know, it was it was a pretty big rush by me. It was like 2k. Um, well, that's not actually that big, is it? But Okay, oh, I played this guy earlier today. He went Cobra. He's going to go Cobra again. And the next time we, because we've, um, we've, I rematched him afterwards. Like, not rematched. I went back into the lobby. And, <laughs> and he disconnected straight away. But he's going to go Cobras. So, the, uh, the, the wizard of, of the whatever strat is really bad against that. So, you know what? I'm just going to copy him. I'm going to go Cobras, guys. With the, with the bomb tower. And he, this guy is going down. If, if for some reason he didn't go Cobras because he felt guilty. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him the payback. I'm going to go Cobras. Cobras against Cobras. It's going to be interesting. Right, so... I know for a, he's probably he's probably going cobras. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna put a cobra down? If he puts a farm down. I'm gonna laugh so hard. He's not he's not putting anything down. He's just he's just not he's just not doing anything, right? Okay. Nope, nope. He is going cobras. I knew it. He is going cobras. For for a second there, I thought he'd given up. Like he um he DC'd last time, but no. Okay. He's going Cobras. Great, guys. Absolutely great. So it's Cobra, uh, Cobra v Cobra. He's actually boosted us, these reds. So you know what? I'm just going to spike them. I'm just going to use up all my spikes on them until I have money for the mortar. And then we'll be fine against basically any rush, uh, which is pretty nice. So let's get that there. Get it there. I'm just going to leave it there, to be honest, for now. And he's going to get half his mortar as well. So let's just gradually micro this down, um, this thing the the track sorry yep and now we can put it right here where we want it and i'll upgrade it to rapid reload um just so it's a bit faster to be honest like against the blues it needs to be a bit faster but yeah we're gonna be fine now so carry on with the blues and hopefully well not hopefully but i wonder if he sent his i'm gonna send one send um uh, one set of pinks to see if he has his cobra set to strong uh yeah and he does nice so he does know he does know that you need to set your cobras to strong uh, so that's a really, again, that that is a really important example of how targeting is really, really useful. Because it is useful in so many, like, if his Cobras weren't set strong, those would just walk through his defense uh, past the mortar. And you can see, again, look, it's it's uh, barely any of the pinks are going to get through. I'm going to upgrade to Bernie stuff uh, because I can, uh, because it will help quite a bit. And we're going to upgrade to, um, actually, no, we're not. We're just going to keep it like this. Keep it like this, guys. We're barely leaking any lives. We're pretty, we're pretty fine. God, I hope the audio is okay for this. If it, if it is, I'm just going to kill myself. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Obviously, I won't do that. So, he hasn't upgraded to Bernie stuff yet. So, he's going to have to upgrade to Bernie stuff right now. Yeah, and he does right on cue. Upgrades to Bernie stuff. So, nothing much we can do now. So, we just need to keep on echoing. And we're going to set our Cobra... Um, sorry, our Mortar over here. And, yep, that's fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine. We're going to... How has your day been, by the way, guys? Comment comment down below if your day has been good, satisfactory, bad, terrible, whatever. How, how has your day been? Mine's pretty good because I finished my last exam. So I'm so happy. They've been... They, they went pretty well. English was hard, um, as usual. But it was, it was all right. And he's disconnected. I... Why? Why do people disconnect? He's probably given up hope or something. I don't, I don't even know. Hopefully, like, I hate facing people that disconnect it ruins the video no he's back he's back so i'm gonna send him the crying emoji send him the crying emoji and we'll get up another cobra set it to strong and we'll carry on echoing to be honest we'll carry on echoing you can see that the cobra set to strong just reduce all the ai to just reds because they they, they they have zero group balloon popping power um right okay so Let's carry on sending the yellows, and we'll stop at 610 eco. 610 eco is a decent eco. Uh, and now we'll just carry on building up the cobra, setting them strong, getting the wired funds, and we'll start balloon adjusting on round 15, 16, maybe? 15, 16, I think, is when we'll, we will start balloon adjusting. And so he hopefully will win this. Uh, I, I guarantee we're going with the same strat. Uh, I wonder what his fourth tower is, because I've got darts, which... I mean, the jug is useful, but as I've got as I've got the mortar, I will be fine against the balloon adjustment. You just need to get up a big one and um, the signal flare, and you'll be absolutely fine against balloon adjustment. So yeah, playing this guy, he he's very he's very harsh on the balloon adjustment. He balloon adjusts 
fairly early and he goes very heavy on it. He builds up tons of Cobras and then just balloon adjusts you and it is, it is horrible. So we need to make sure we got bigger blasts so we can uh, defend all of these. We're going to upgrade to Signal Flare. He's indeed sending us a small rush of sorts. I'm not sure where I should put the bomb tower, you know. I think I'm just going to put it here, to be honest. And you know what? We're going to send some spaced... They were meant to be spaced pinks. But they've walked right through his defense. So that is at least 30 lives off him. No, apparently not. Apparently it's just lag and he didn't leak anything. Great. Absolutely great. So let's build up two more Cobras set to Luna, uh, set to Wide Funds. And no. Oh, is he going for a rush? Is he going for a rush, guys? He is going for a rush. So we're just going to upgrade to Cluster Bombs and we'll be absolutely fine against that. Cobra's being amazing against group balloons. And now we're going to start to balloon adjust him per earlier than he's balloon adjusting us. So if he goes all out, to be honest, will I be able to defend? I think I will. But maybe not. Like, if it's a really big all out rush, I won't be able to defend. Anyway, so he is not balloon adjusting me right now, which he should 100% be doing. He needs to be balloon adjusting me. You can see that the balloon adjustment is already getting hard on his side already. And he's going for a regen lead rush interesting so we're gonna be absolutely fine against that um we're gonna be yep yeah, we're gonna be fine against that a few camo sneaking through here and there but no we're gonna be absolutely fine so let's get another boon adjustment and yep he's i'm gonna send see ya ha <laughs> ha we've won this one there's no way he is defending now he wasted all his money he didn't balloon adjust early and cobra chan is going down cobra v cobra i'm gonna win um, that I'm pretty happy about that because I have my payback for that last one All he could do now is basically he could go for a all-out camo rush I think but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some dark monkeys up just to make sure we can defend He could go all out ceramics as well. Oh, no, he's actually got a balloon adjustment. So he's, he's defending fine I'll send a no he's dead. He's gonna go down or not. He's actually he's holding off somehow um, So we're gonna send a Moab straight away and he's gonna die to this mob. There's no way he's defending this Unless he boosts that. If he has a boost left, I think he does have a boost left. Then he will defend this. But yeah, he's boosted that. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. No way he's defending. I'll send him, I'll send him an oops. And that is GG right there. Re and we're going to send some regen rainbows to finish him off, guys. Regen rainbows to finish him off. And we have won this one. Yep. No way he's defending that with all the regen rainbows on the screen. And the balloon adjustment in the Moab. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.